This month on The Real Review, we're featuring the wines of the top wineries of New Zealand 2022. Two of those wines are contrasting reds. There's Dry River Pinot Noir 2012 and Wild Estate W Merlot Cabernet Franc Malbec 2019. Hello and welcome. I'm Bob Campbell and this is The Real Review. Dry River was, uh, is, is uh, one of the Real Review's top wineries of New Zealand 2022. Dry River was established in 1979 by Neil McCullum and, uh, and his wife Dawn. Uh, they were one of the earlier pioneers, or the sort of modern pioneers at, in Martinborough uh, at, a, at a, a very exciting time in New Zealand's wine industry where uh, Pinot Noir wasn't really on the map. The Pinot Noir is probably the most contentious uh, wine in their range. Uh, one or two critics have, have, have labelled it as being too intense, too uh, powerful and not Pinot Noir-like enough. But I disagree. Anyone who's, who's tasted these wines regularly uh, over many years can see with age they, how, how wonderfully they develop. Oh, great nose. Quite intensely aromatic, very youthful for a for a, a ten year old wine. It's uh, it's uh, really uh, really strutting at stuff. Delicious, absolutely in a word, delicious. Um, very fine grained. It's it's, uh, it's, uh, it's it's I think reasonably youthful. Um, ten years old, but. Another ten years would not do it any harm at all. Um, I, lo I like it's got a slightly, slightly peppery, spicy note to it, which appeals to me. Uh, we're still getting those primary flavours, those those cherry and and plum uh, characters, which are, uh, which are which are enchanting. It's just really a delicious wine. What would I match with this? Well, just a good old sirloin steak. Uh, Perhaps with with potatoes, uh, cafe de Paris butter, um, and uh, and 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 garlicky greens. I think uh, um, beans, fresh beans, would go very very well with it. No, that's a that would be a good combination. Today I'm tasting 2019 Wild Estate W. Waiheke Island Red. Wild Estate is one of uh, the Real Review's top uh, wineries of New Zealand 2022. They've got three uh, ranges. There's the estate range, the entry level range, and, and, and that's in the sort of $25 to $50 price category. Then the Wanderlust range, which is a little bit more expensive, sort of $45 to $50, and, and, or $45 to $60. And uh, and at the very top, the the flagship uh, range. There is only one wine, and it's not made every year. And this is it. So it's the it's the W Waiheke, and at a reasonably lofty price of one hundred and fifty dollars. Let's try a nice deep colour. You could use this as writing ink if you uh, if you had to. Um, <laughs> I'm getting a sort of a mixture of sort of plum and, and berry uh, berry flavours on the nose. I should mention that the wine is a blend of Merlot 50%, Cabernet Franc 25%, and Malbec 25%. It's a it's a big ripe, almost succulent red with cassis, black currant, uh, blackberry, ripe plum, sort of real Christmas cake flavours, but a touch of licorice and nutty oak. Uh, it's an heroic red that uh, is, is quite accessible, but it lets you know that it it it, uh, it will reward reward cellaring for quite a number of years. Um, become even more interesting with bottle age, I think. The food dish I recommend is lamb shanks or hearty stews and casseroles. Big, rich, rich uh, fare that that can stand up to the richness and and heartiness of the wine. Cheers. If you've enjoyed this, follow us and subscribe to The Real Review.